A wave is a disturbance. A disturbance that carries energy through matter or space. The disturbance can take the form of everything from waves on a pond to seismic events to sound coming from a speaker. They can be mechanical, needing a medium to travel through, or electromagnetic, needing no such medium. Jean-Pierre Gaultier's inventive exhibit, Machines at Play, gives us a unique platform to visualize and imagine aspects of energy. At one time, we popped corn on top of a stove. Now, we energize the kernels bombarding them with microwaves until they pop. We also bombard human tissue with magnetic waves to diagnose diseases or identify body parts needing repair. With an ear on the rail, one can detect an oncoming train through the vibrated energy transferred through the rail in the form of simple sound waves. The simple mechanical wave should provide enough warning for the listener to move safely away from the approaching locomotive. In 1816, René Lenec invented the stethoscope, then a simple metal trumpet-like bell to listen to the heartbeat, another mechanical wave instrument for medical diagnosis. A more sophisticated version is today's modern echocardiogram, an electromagnetic device which uses radio waves that echo off of the heart to detect blockages or other heart damage. What about light? Light can be modeled as a wave and a particle. Photons are literally particles of light. Answer this. Are light waves mechanical or electromagnetic? What about the waves from the powerful light that warms the Earth? Properties of a wave depend on the properties of the medium through which it travels. Electromagnetic waves, like you've seen here, can be made without a medium. Gautier's rut uses a programmed sound sequence, but elements can vary. Everything moves, but if the microphone isn't on, it's nearly impossible to hear the sound produced by two objects rubbing together. You can see the movement, but not necessarily hear the sound. But the waves are always present. 